Hello YouTubers and fellow cannabis and hemp growers. Today I'm going to show you how to make a mixture called colloidal silver with sodium thiosulfate and silver nitrate. The reason I'm doing this video is because I've been shown a lot of different methods by different people and <clears throat> almost all of them have been wrong. So through trial and error I've figured out this is the best way to do it and I've gotten really good results with it. I'll show you some of my plants in the back here in a minute and I'll also show you how to go ahead and make the mixture so that you you get um, a lot of male parts and pollen because I've also heard you mix it and then some people aren't getting pollen. There's all kinds of different things. They spray it on the plants, they burn them. Um, and again, there's so much misinformation out there that I was told to mix five parts water one time into my solution and I got no results after weeks, weeks and weeks of trial. And um, <clears throat> I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and make a mixture that actually works the first time. And you can usually only do it once. Um, we're doing it once every three days just to, just to nip it in the bud. We really need to make sure that we get some pollen on there. Um, the very first step is getting water, and clean water. So you have this water here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some into this cup just to, just to show you what our, our base is with this water. The base is actually so low that we're getting, we're starting with water that has I don't know if you can see that. 12 parts per million. Very low, very clean water. That is one of the first steps. I don't actually need this one. <clears throat> so the first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my sodium thiosulfate. I'm going to make 1,000 milliliters of this solution. and. I'm going to put 5 grams of sodium thiosulfate into 1,000 milliliters of water and mix that really well. <coughs> right here I've got a little digi, a little tiny digital scale. And I just went ahead and put 5 grams of sodium thiosulfate in here. And I'm going to go ahead and put 1 gram of silver nitrate into the other mixture and I'm going to label the two part A and part B and then I'm going to mix the two together and then add an equal part water. I've been told a lot of misinformation. Um, one time I was told to add five parts water and I went ahead and had waited weeks for my male parts to show up on my plants. And Nothing ever happened with that. Very, very bad information. Another time I heard... I heard to not mix it with water at all, to spray it directly onto the plants, and that burned them. They got all burned up. I did get male parts, but my, my plants suffered significantly. This is a method that I've done a couple different times, and it's always worked for me. I get a lot of male parts. I've really only had to spray it one time to get the results, and it was great. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I've got one gram here of silver nitrate. <coughs> I'm going to add my one gram of silver nitrate into 1,000 milliliters of very, very clean water. Mix it up really good. Make sure there's no... I can see on the bottom that the silver nitrate hasn't dissolved yet. Make sure that it dissolves completely. I'll give it a little while just to sit here because I have other containers to mix in. The silver nitrate I would call part A. That's the part that I'm going to put 
first into my sprayer. My sprayer is right here. I've been told by my brother, who's a chemist, that the order in which you put them in, mix them together, is just as important as doing everything else correctly. So here we go. Pull a little bit of this out. Need to get it to 1,000 milliliters. This is going to make 2,000. I'm sorry. This is going to make 4,000 milliliters of solution to spray on my plants, which you can see behind me. I'm going to spray them on there. These chemicals are a little bit dangerous. I always recommend gloves. I've got goggles. And I've got a mask for when I go to start spraying. So there we are. I put five grams of sodium thiosulfate into 1,000 milliliters of water right here, and I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna mix it up really well. Sometimes it takes a while. It's kind of in crystal form, this stuff, the sodium thiosulfate, so. I'll let that sit for a minute for the crystals that are in there to dissolve. I'm not sure if you can see them, they're, they're twirling around inside of this so you can see it right there they're they're not fully dissolved make sure that they're fully dissolved before you add them together I'm gonna call this solution part B the other one the silver nitrate is part A and I've been told to add part A into part B that's the correct method for adding it I got Dawn dish soap here I'm going to Add a little bit of that for a surfactant, so it covers the leaves entirely and the parts of the plants that I'm trying to get it into. I'm going to go ahead and put on my mask now, because I don't, stuff is, is a little bit dangerous. You definitely don't want to get it in your eyes, you definitely don't want to get it on your skin. So when you're spraying it, you don't want to spray it wildly. I've been told a lot of different things. I've been told to spray it on the leaves. I do not spray it on the leaves at all. I spray it on the nodes, and obviously you can't miss the leaves entirely, but I spray it on the nodes, and some does get on the leaves. I haven't gotten burning with this method that I'm doing here, so that's why I want to teach it to people on YouTube. sure everything is clean. I already cleaned this out earlier. There's still some soap in there. Soap obviously is not a problem. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and mix the two together. I'm going to put on my goggles first because it is dangerous, like I said. Very strong chemical. I've heard that if you get it on your skin, it will stay on your skin for a couple days and it actually feels kind of cold for days. It is also a bit cancerous too. So, like I said, I've got part A and part B right here. I'm going to put part B into my sprayer first. This is the method I was told by my chemist brother is the correct way to do it. So there's part B, put part A into part B, I've done it in the opposite, in the opposite order before, and I didn't have a problem, but I did see a chemical reaction, it turned greenish brown for a minute and then it went back to being clear. So there was obviously a chemical reaction taking place there. After I add 1,000 milliliters of each, so I added, I'll go over it again one more time. I added one gram of silver nitrate into 1,000 milliliters of water. Then I added 
five grams of sodium thiosulfate into 1,000 milliliters of water to make 2,000 milliliters of solution right here. I have added this solution directly to the plants before, and it works, it does work. But you do get burning. Um, I've done it without getting burning, but this method that I'm gonna teach you right now is the safest that I've ever tried. Don't get any burning at all, and we get the results that we want, which is male sacs producing 99% feminized pollen. I'm going to fill this to 2,000 milliliters right here. There's 2,000 milliliters in here, 1,000 of each of the two. And then there's 2,000 milliliters of purified water right here. I'm going to add this into the two. I'm going to put 6 to 12 drops of soap in here first. That's for a surfactant. There goes the water. So I now have 4,000 milliliters inside here. It's enough to do this whole entire greenhouse. Believe it or not, this is close to 500 plants right here. Every single one of these plants is female right now. We have lights in here, but the lights aren't on. It's right now it's November and the light is enough in the day to make it to have the plants flowering right now so we don't need to add we don't need to have any more lighting we don't want to keep it in veg we want it to start flowering um, like I said I've only had to add this one time but I actually do it once every three days just to make sure that that we do get those those male sacks on there I don't want to take any chances and uh, one of the keys is to do it when it's still in the veg cycle, about three days before you're going to start flowering. And now we are about a week into flowering on some of these, and then spraying it again. I will continue to spray it until I see clear signs that there are male sacs. So I'm going to go ahead and put this mask on. You might not be able to hear me so well, but I'm going to carry the, the phone over to here so you can see that my plants do have male parts on them and I don't think you'll be able to see the pollen but um, they are producing pollen some of them these ones over here are just a week into budding and these ones on this side are actually uh, about a month into budding so they have um, obviously like I said male parts on them I'll take the phone over and show you real quick what we've got over there so these ones here are the ones that are just gonna go into budding they've been budding for about a week I'm gonna spray all of these ones these ones here as well they're a week into budding these are my females that I turned male obviously you can see here We have, oh geez, I can't get it to, there we go, there you go, so you can see we've got male parts on these, these females, these are female plants, you can tell because a, a male plant buds differently than this. They don't have them clustered so much like these ones are. These are really growing like a female budwood, but with male parts on it. <clears throat> so there it is. You can see the male parts. I want to show you what happens when you add four parts water into your mixture because I did get, I did that experiment as well. People told me to add four parts water instead of half like I just did, and these were the results. A female plant with no hairs and no male, male parts. 
there are a couple areas where I did get male parts, but mixed with female parts. They seem like hermaphrodites, and obviously they're not. I mean, in a sense, but they're really not. So, I'm going to go ahead and get my sprayer and show you how to apply this sodium thiosulfate is what it's called, or collodial silver. See, here's one in my female section where she's got female parts up here, but you can see right there, there's a little male sac right in the middle. There's also one off to the side right here. Male sacs, but most of the plant looks and basically is female. So this is my greenhouse. And I'm now going to show you how to spray those plants right there. Just set the camera down for a second. Real quick, like I said, I don't spray the leaves. I just spray the nodes, in case you can't hear me with this mask on. I just spray the, the inter nodes of the plant. You'll see that I don't spray it wildly all over the place like I'm trying to fight bugs or anything like that. Mix it up a little bit. Make that soap bubbly. And then I'm gonna pump it. Just pump it up. And keep the sprayer aimed away from me. pressure in my sprayer. I'm going to take it over here to my female plants and I'm going to show you how I spray them right now. Again I've been taught a lot of different things. People told me spray the whole entire plant. That was not, not good advice. My plants burned up. I did get male parts but they did burn up. So right in here, you can see the nodes where you would normally get buds. <clears throat> the fresh growth, right here, you can see that fresh greenery, that fresh growth and the nodes are where you want to get it. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a spray here. I'm going to go ahead and give it a spray right in the center. Right in the nodes and that's it you can see i avoided this big leaf here i avoided all these exterior leaves i'm gonna go ahead and spray the next node right there you can see i'm soaking it good but only on that node anywhere that you want a male part is where you want to go ahead and spray it. If I'm even spraying these ones down here, if they can get male parts, then great. This part right here. This one right here. And that's it. That is literally it. I will go through and spray every single one of these plants with that kind of precision. I'm spraying it just right there, right on that inner node, right on the fresh growth too, right here. See how there's drops coming off? I'm just trying to get it right, right in the middle. And that's it. If you got any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. I'll try and answer. Thanks a lot.